What's going on everyone? It's Cecile Sway. In this video, I am going to be taking all through what I eat to lose fat. Now, not only is this going to be a grocery haul for fat loss, I will be showing you all everything included in my diet for you to get in shape, get fit, get lean, and get healthy. So with that being said, I'm right outside of Walmart. Let's get started. As our fellow friend Future says, mask on. Anyways guys, give the video a like if you want to see more videos like this. Alright, guys, so when your main... <laughs> okay, so listen up. Your main objective that's going to help you out big time before you step inside the grocery store is to make a grocery shopping list. Seriously, this is going to take you a very long way if you're trying to lose fat and build muscle. Otherwise, you are going to be here for hours and you're gonna walk out with like Doritos. But anyways, if you have not yet signed up to my fitness app, what are you doing? In your seven day personalized meal plan, you are going to have the option to check out your whole grocery list for all of the items needed in your specific meal plan. So make sure you check out my app, guys. Go download it, sign up. I promise it's like the best fitness app in the world. Click the first link in the description box down below this video. You're not gonna regret it. It's only a dollar a day, and there's a 100% money back guarantee. $7 per week. You can afford it. Let's do it. All right, guys. So for our specific grocery list, we are starting off with the proteins today. So we're going from proteins to carbs and then fats. All right, so I'm going to grab some boneless, skinless chicken breast. $1.99 a pound. We have got six and a half pounds here. It's very cheap, very effective. Let's go ahead and grab the protein. All right, family, so next up we are grabbing 93.7 ground turkey. So boneless, skinless chicken breast is always my go-to protein source because it's lean, right? However, when I want some more fats in my protein source, I always stick to 93.7 ground turkey. It's still lean, but eight grams of fat per serving, a lot of protein. All right, so not only am I gonna grab 93.7 ground turkey, but also the 90.10. Now, quick tip here, 90.10 is super, super cheap. Three pounds is only like $7.98, it's crazy. So not only is it super cheap to stock up on, but uh, it has a little bit more fat. And for me, it's very easy to stick to a lower fat diet. So I do need to bump up the fats now and then. This is great. Okay, guys, again, moving on to some more fat and variety for my protein sources. I'm gonna grab some boneless, skinless chicken thighs. So when you're grabbing chicken thighs, make sure they're boneless, skinless, because if they're not, they have an absurd amount of fat. But when they are boneless, skinless, they have four and a half grams of fat per serving with 22 grams of protein. It's your best bet. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are moving on to the most crucial protein and fat source known to man, some whole eggs. Now, also some egg whites. So you can separate these if you just want the proteins and no fats coming from the yolk. Just separate it, super cheap to get the egg whites from this. Uh, that's why I get them in bulk, right? 60 eggs. Um, I'm not a monster, well, I am a monster. So 60 eggs, best go. Okay guys, so we are moving on to some Greek yogurt. So I love these strawberry flavored containers. They're super cheap, so check it out. Do not get skimped and buy the light and fit Danon ones. You really don't need to. They're like twice the price and the macros are literally the same. Same protein, same calories, same carbs. So get yourself the great value ones, all right? I'm always trying to save y'all money, all right guys? Okay, next up, gonna grab some cottage cheese. Now, I don't normally just eat cottage cheese by itself, honestly. It doesn't taste all that good, but when you mix it with like some powdered peanut butter or regular peanut butter, or you can use it to make protein pancakes, I have an epic protein pancake recipe. That's on my app, but anyways, uh, it's just amazing. So yeah. All right, we are moving on to the carbohydrate sources in this grocery haul. So I'm starting it off with the best carb known to man, oats. Anyways, guys, quick one minute oatmeal, getting a whole lot of this because you can do a lot, lots of recipes, uh, different types of oatmeal recipes, different types of protein pancake recipes. Get yourself some oats. All right, moving on to the next carbohydrate source. I am going to pick up some cereal. So check it out. I like Chex, A, because it's gluten-free and I have celiac disease. So I pretty much have no choice. It's like the only good gluten-free cereal out there. But you can mix this uh, with some like protein powder and like almond milk. And it's, I know it sounds weird, but it'll be like protein cereal for like a quick pre-workout snack. Uh, it's just awesome. It's really for conveniency. Okay, guys, I am so excited. I found chocolate rice cakes. Rice cakes for some reason, especially chocolate rice cakes, literally went extinct ever since this pandemic happened. And I'm just so excited they're finally back in stock. I feel like such a loser. I'm literally excited for rice cakes to be back in stock at Walmart. But anyways, guys, um, yeah, that's what happens when you make games. But in all seriousness, chocolate rice cakes, freaking amazing. You can pair them up with powdered peanut butter or regular peanut butter. You gotta get these, all right? Told y'all I was not kidding. 
I'm obsessed with these. Next up, we have a five pound bag of jasmine rice. Obviously, you can put this, you know, with like all your meats, you know, ground turkey, steak, chicken bowls. You need rice, all right? It's amazing. Now, this is a carbohydrate and protein source. However, much more of a carbohydrate source since there is 22 grams of carbs and only seven grams of protein per serving. But anyways, it's just amazing. I love putting black beans uh, recently with like rice, make kind of bowls with chicken breast, uh, some corn as well. You guys saw that in a recipe in one of my full days of eatings in the past. It's just awesome. You can do so much with this stuff. And again, it's a like super cheap carb and protein source. So I'm gonna stock up on that. Okay, so I'm also going to grab some canned corn. Again, I love making bowls with this. Literally like homemade Chipotle bowls. And keep in mind, for the canned food items, I'm getting no salt added. Not because I'm afraid of salt, okay? Salt is completely okay as long as you're drinking over a gallon of water a day. When I find I get the, um, you know, salt added canned foods, it just bloats me a lot easier. And I already add salt to literally everything, so I just wanna minimize it a little bit. But again, nothing wrong with salt here. I think I added this in one of my videos before and I told no salt added, everyone freaked out. Don't worry, okay? This stuff is the absolute magic powder, all right? It's literally secret sauce. Powdered peanut butter. This is amazing. I haven't had it in a long time because we were out of rice cakes, but now we have rice cakes back into our diet. We're gonna eat a whole lot of powdered peanut butter, baby. Love this stuff with rice cakes. Put it in your oatmeal. It's literally life-changing. It's only got 50 calories for two tablespoons rather than 190 calories for regular peanut butter. So awesome okay one more thing as well i'm pretty much going out of order here because this is really essentially a protein source hope you guys are still enjoying this we're going a little bit out of order okay next up i'm grabbing some white corn tortillas i've been loving these lately you can make tacos with them heck you can make breakfast burritos if you want you know put some eggs egg whites with some cooked vegetables etc two tortillas 100 calories 19 carbs they're great Okay, so next up for the carbohydrates, we're gonna move on to some vegetables. So these are really my main sources of vegetables, guys. Some broccoli florets along with some mixed vegetables with carrots, green beans, corns, and peas. So I just stock up on these two and uh, I rotate between my meals, you know, put these two in them. So love these. Okay, moving on to some more carbohydrates. I'm going to grab my frozen fruit. So I'm gonna grab some frozen strawberries and frozen blueberries. So I absolutely love making my epic protein smoothies. So I use my My Protein Impact Whey Protein Powder along with almond milk and I'll put some of these in there. It's amazing, guys. I'll show you in some more full day of eatings in the future. Let me know in the comment section down below. And of course, drop a like if you wanna see more epic protein smoothie recipes. All right, so more carbohydrate sources here. We're grabbing some yellow potatoes. These are amazing because they have a lot of volume for the carbohydrates you're eating. So if you were to eat as much jasmine rice, for example, over potatoes, you're not gonna get as full because there's a lot more carbohydrates than let's say 100 grams of cooked jasmine rice over 100 grams of potatoes. So very filling, lots of volume, great. Okay, real quick here, I wanna show you all some more vegetables. So I'm grab some sweet peppers along with some kale. Okay, so I literally found a mountain of bananas here in Walmart, but I'm gonna pick some up and check it out. I'm gonna pick some up that aren't as ripe, just so, you know, they can sit and ripen up. And I'm gonna like put that in my oatmeal, eat them on the go, etc. And then I'm gonna get some that are super ripe and ready to go right now, because I'm actually going to freeze these. And I like, again, putting them in like protein smoothies and stuff. So I have an epic recipe with a banana for protein smoothies. Make sure you drop a like again and let me know in the comment section if you wanna see it in my next whole day of eating. All right, so I'm grabbing some apples. You cannot go wrong with these. Super Super quick snack, especially pre-workout, absolutely love them. Okay, so I am going to pick up some apple juice. Okay, I never drink this, guys. The only time I drink this is literally if my blood sugar is low, which obviously doesn't account to like 98% of you, but I have type one diabetes, so I have to make sure, you know, if my sugar drops, I correct it. And I usually just drink Gatorade or apple juice or something like that. Okay, so picking up a fat source here, which is unsweetened almond milk. It's got two and a half grams of fat, one gram of carb, and one gram of protein per serving. Now I realize we didn't really cover the fat sources in this video but that's because there's a lot of items that we picked up that substitute for fat, right? So like the chicken thighs, um, you know, the ground turkey, a uh, whole egg. So there's lots of other foods that consist of my diet that has lots of fat in it that kind of equates to a fat source, you know, with the protein or with a carbohydrate. You get what I'm saying? So uh, yeah, fats are usually going to be like that. They're going to be very minimal. You only really need to get like peanut butter, almond milk, avocados, etc. You don't have to stock up on them because all the other foods include fats in them. So anyways, guys, this is going to be the last item of the grocery haul.
Okay guys, so that is going to include everything in my grocery haul for fat loss. So I'm gonna check out all of the items we picked up. Keep in mind, by the way, this is a lot of stuff, but I like to shop in bulk because it lasts me like three weeks. So I have to come back from Walmart every single week, right? Anyways, I'm gonna go home and then I'm going to prepare a pre-workout meal, show you all exactly what that is. And then I'm gonna head to the gym, get an epic workout in, so let's go. Okay, so before I check out and leave and show you all this pre-workout meal, I want every single one of you watching this video right now to comment down below. Let me know how much you think this grocery haul is gonna cost. All right, let me know. Comment down below, I wanna see who wins. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we have acquired all of the gains, aka the grocery for today's grocery haul for fat loss. Now it's time to go home, prepare an epic pre-workout meal for an epic workout. See you guys then. Just prepared my pre-workout meal. Check it out. We have about a cup of kale, around six ounces of cooked boneless skinless chicken breast, along with 200 grams of white rice. Of course, I'm gonna list the total calories and macros for this pre-workout meal, just so you guys can see. And what I'll also like to do pre-workout, obviously the stuff is already salted. Like this is already pre-cooked. This is why I love shopping bulk, guys. So I'll cook all of my chicken, not all of it, but around like three to five pounds at a time every time I do cook and I keep it in the fridge along with rice. I'll cook around like three to five cups of rice always stocked up in the fridge so I can make a quick meal like this pre-workout. So anyways, I like to add more salt to what's already seasoned for pre-workout just because it really helps more of a pump in the gym. Anyways guys, I'm gonna go ahead, enjoy this, and we're gonna get an epic workout in. Let's do it. Okay guys, so workout is complete. This Miami Heat is absolutely no joke, for real. But either way, look, that is going to conclude today's video. What I eat to lose fat and my grocery shelf for fat loss. I want you to smash the like button right now in this video and let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see more videos just like this. I can even do more like lean bulking versions. So make sure you give me some feedback. Also, before I go, I quickly wanna say thank you so much to all the people who signed up to my new app. It is unreal, seriously. Look, if you wanna join thousands of others, make sure you click the first link in description 
description box down below to download my app and sign up. Choose between the Shred program, the Lean Bulk program, or the Body Recomposition program. There's so many people on it, and it's almost the next year. I want every single one of you to start off the year right, so go click that first link, download my app. It is going to be epic, and then tag me on Instagram, at Asil Suede, when you download and sign up. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you are new, and I'll see every single one of you in the next video.